You know, when I was a kid, my favorite part of coming to Olive Garden was the mint. Seriously. That was my, my favorite thing. Not, not the breadsticks or the... No. It was the mint. That was like... That was like the, the joy as a, as a child. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a it was a trick. You got you got um, Ashton Kutcher. It was a goof. It was a goof. She got me with this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oops. That was a lot. That was. It fell out. He'll eat it. He'll eat it. It's. I mean, that's a good bit of food, but he'll eat it. So, um, I think, I think yesterday's video, I, every, I, I, I don't know how you feel, but I feel like every day feels like a thousand years. Yeah. These are like the longest days of my life. Um, yes, I don't think we mentioned it yesterday, but, um, when we were talking about how, like, on Wednesday night when we were trying to get Sagan to eat and we tried a new can of food and we tried treats treats, and we tried all this stuff. Um, we had been, it was that night we were making chicken. We had some chicken tenderloins that we were making for dinner and we were so concerned that he wasn't eating. Um, Mal took one of the chicken tenderloins and cooked it separate without any seasoning or anything just to see if he would eat it. And we tried and he wouldn't. So now we have that little thing of chicken and before it goes bad, we're trying to give it to to Cap, who adores it, because why wouldn't he? <laughs> we've been we've been spoiling the crap out of Kepler. Um, we've been probably giving him a little bit too much treats and stuff. Yeah. And like, if he's up on something, like I just don't have the heart to like tell him to get down. I'm just like, you're fine. Like <laughs> it's it's all right. Um, welcome to Sunday. Uh, we had lunch with Dan and Lindsay. We've been doing that for a long time, and we debated about whether to do that or not, um, but I thought it would be good for us. Uh, I'm sure that they would have loved to have like hung out with us today, but like I know we talked about it, I think, yesterday, but our social batteries are not very big right now. So it's nothing against them. It's just... We, we could do lunch, and then that was it. That was like the full, yeah. <laughs> that was like the full extent. And it's, 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 it's hard because, you know, we, um, we don't really know what to do with ourselves. And this has been like a, a big discussion between Mao and me. Like, we don't really know what we should be doing. Um, Obviously, there's a fair bit of grief, so there's, you know, still crying and, and, and stuff like that. But being at home feels bad because we're like, we get restless and we're not sure what we should be doing. And going out feels bad. Sleeping feels bad. Like, there's not a... Everything just, everything just kind of sucks. And there's not really, like, a magical path to get through it it's just the emotions continue to be a roller coaster um i don't know it's just hard yeah um oh i wanted to talk about one thing though <sighs> yesterday or the day before something we talked about how we got all that food from chewy because we had just got a new shipment of food from Chewy on um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Of course, second night, never got to eat any of it. And that's <laughs> that's the big old pallet over there. There's, I don't know how many cans. It's 48 cans of food? 48? Yeah. Because 40, that's all he could eat. Because that's all, yeah, that's the only thing second could eat um, without having diarrhea issues. Um, so we had like these 48 cans and that, that food's not particularly cheap. No. I mean, it's, it's expensive food, but it was the only thing that would, that his stomach could handle. And, uh, 
Mao sent an email to Chewy about re like if if it'd be possible for us to return it. Because and, we haven't even like unwrapped them. Yeah, it's still in the plastic. Yeah. And Chewy said, Don't worry about it. We will refund your card for the food. Please donate it to a shelter. And that's it's pretty it's a that's a pretty good company. So we'll probably take it to Cattails. Yeah. Cattails is um Cattails is the place that we got Rocco. Rocco and then Sagan and Kepler. We got all three of the cats from Cattails. Um, which is up in Sunset Beach. Sunset? I think it's in Sunset. I think it's in Sunset. It's right across the line in North Carolina. Uh, I think it's in Sunset Beach. And uh, that's where we got all the cats. And uh, I think we might take it up to them. Um, donate it to them because... I mean, it was going to technically one of their animals. Whenever we adopted the cats from there, the cats already have names and then we give them new names. Uh, Rocco was Leo, Sagan was Kronos, yeah. and Kepler was uh, Siddhartha. Siddhartha. And of course we changed them to Rocco, Sagan, and Kepler, but um, that was the names that they had given them. Hey, pal. Was that good? You ate all of it. Of course you did. You didn't have a single problem eating all that, did you? You were very excited that you got to eat all that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been... He's been helping us a lot. It's been nice to just cuddle with him, and he's he's always been a cuddle bug. But both of the cats were lap cats, so you know, anytime we're sitting on the couch or anything, he jumps up and he snuggles us. And then he's I guess on the bed at night. he's on the bed at night. Yeah. He was next to us when we put the puzzle together. Yeah, I mean, I guess that you know the 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 hardest thing is that generally when we're sitting on the couch, we have we each had a cat. Yeah. And now we have to share, and I think that's. That's been a little hard. It, but also, Kepler switches laps, which is very last sweet. Night. Last night, he was he had been on my lap for a while, and then he, like, lifted his head and looked at Mao and walked over. <sighs> sorry. And I, I, I don't have to say I'm sorry. Like, I, you know, I've, I've experienced trauma, you know. So I don't have to apologize for this. This is all normal, but it's, um... It's like a, a societal thing, you know. You always, you always finish a when you start getting emotion. You always say, "I'm sorry," but I'm not actually sorry. Um, but he did. He he was on my lap and he looked over at Mouse and uh, he walked over and got on their lap. And it just, I don't know, you know. It's just little things like that 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 are so nice. Have we ever pointed out Kippy's wrist? His wrist? Yeah, he has this dark spot. Come back here. Come here. Come here. Let me show. He has, um, his right front wrist has a, a spot, because he's, you know, he has all these spots, and it's heart-shaped. It's upside down. It's very, right it's very good. It's going to be very hard to see Oh, yeah, he doesn't like show. to be held either, but it's heart-shaped. I think that's one of the hardest things for me, is that, you know? like, one of the things... You know that was that's was different about Sagan versus Kepler is that like Sagan always loved to be held and Kepler does not like to be held. We and could pick up Sagan and hold him. Yep. We, we could hold him here, like with his head up here, and just kind of like a baby. You yeah. could hold him upside down. Yeah. The cat would let you do anything to him. He was just such a such a happy you cat. Could clean his ears, cut his nails. Oh, uh, I and I actually I think there's a video of me cutting Sagan's nails. Yeah. Because that's just a notoriously difficult thing for cat owners, and I could just do 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 do. I could cut all of his nails in like a minute, and he just never gave me any trouble. Just here you go, here you go, here you go. With Cap, it is a vigorous fight. <laughs> And Kepler's always sharpening his nails, so they're always oh. sharp. He's like, yep, that's what I do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Marginally better. Marginal. I mean, that's what we're aiming for, Mal. Yeah. And, and, like, I have to really stress that I feel in my heart that things are getting better. I feel truly every day is a little bit brighter. But... Things are not bright, and the increase is extremely marginal. Um, that word is chosen for a reason because it's 
it is marginal, but you know, every day just slightly less tears than the day before. And uh, it's just, it's hard. I mean, one of the things, one of the things is like, I'm, I'm so exhausted. Like, it's, it's an emotional exhaustion, but then also a physical exhaustion from crying. And like, there was a time earlier this morning, I was, I was getting ready and I felt like I could cry and I, my body couldn't do it. Like, I felt like I, if I felt like I, I could cry and like my body was just like, I can't even do this right now. Like I don't have the energy and, uh, my eyes have been sore. I guess they're like puffy, you know, yeah. from, from it. And it's not, you know, it's not that everything is bad. It's not that everything is gloom. It's not like we're crying nonstop, but you know, it's just a constant up and down of going through this terrible, terrible trauma. And then having like this period of stillness and like, we're, we're, we're doing our best to introduce humor where we can, because humor is, humor is my thing. I mean, I've built my entire career out of humor and I'm trying to make myself laugh and I'm trying to make Mal laugh. And, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes I, I feel like doing that and it's so nice. It's like a break in the sadness to, for us to smile and laugh together. And sometimes we'll start laughing and then we'll start crying because we're laughing and it's, it's been a whole thing. And now that we're home, it's quarter till four and I don't actually know what we're going to do because, you know, we don't feel necessarily like doing things. Um, everything, you know, sounds bad. It's like, do you want to watch a movie? Well, not really. Do you want to play a game? Eh, not really. I, we used up a lot of our juice just going out to lunch, you yeah. know, but we'll just kind of rest easy. Just keep talking. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. <laughs> when we were at lunch earlier, um, basically everyone ordered the unlimited soup, soup, salad, and breadsticks. soup salad and breadsticks. And then um, I haven't had a big appetite. Mao hasn't had a big appetite. We've eaten an extremely small amount of food in the past few days. But at lunch, when I sat down, I was like, oh man, you know, spaghetti sounds good. I, I felt like I had an appetite all of a sudden. So um, I got the spaghetti and uh, I, had a, I had a plate of salad. And then when the spaghetti came, I ate half, probably less than half. Maybe I wasn't as hungry as I thought, but at least it, you know, it felt like I, I was. So now I'm trying to finish it. Basically the way I'm operating is um, if I get hungry, like if I feel hungry, I eat because I'm worried that I'm, um, I'm not getting enough food because I just don't feel like eating. So whenever my body is like, eat, I'm like, yes, okay, yeah, hold on, I'll, I, I'll get right on that. So I'm trying to get some food in me. Mal and I sat down, we're gonna try and play a game. We played Pandemic once. Yeah. Just once with Emile Massey. Emile Massey. Um, but it's two player, so we figured, yeah. We're trying to find something to just trying to find something to do, honestly. Um, I edited yesterday's vlog, and I saw a few people that said, you know, Stephen returned to work so quickly. And I just, I, I mean, it's just, I guess my perspective on it is like, I don't feel like I've returned to work. Um, and for the most part, I'm staying off of the internet. I'm not dealing with any of the other work elements that I would. Stephen Place has been scheduled for, for days, so I don't have to touch that. So like in my mind, the only thing I'm doing is editing the vlog. It's helpful for me because it does allow me to have some level of normalcy because work for me is normal. But then also it's 
me working through the grief of that day then as opposed to trying to deal with it later. So I don't personally feel like I've returned to work. I very much feel like I'm not working. And I think it's just because um, Mal and I have just been trying to figure out like what the heck to do like with ourselves. Yeah. Cause like I'm tired, but like I shouldn't sleep cause I've been having trouble sleeping. Yeah. I should try and sleep at a normal time. Yeah. I'm not hungry, so I should eat a little bit. Like, a movie sometimes sounds good, but then I think about it, and I'm like, it's a long time to sit. So. Yeah. I finally cried today, because I I hadn't. Um, just because, like, it, you know, I mentioned earlier, like, it felt like I could, but it just, it, my body's been physically exhausted. And I was right, because when I finally did cry, when I was done, I, I felt like I could have passed out. I'm just so drained from the entire process. Um, but, marginally better. <laughs> marginally better. And I have to admit, like, for as awful as this entire experience has been, and it has been the worst um it it's nice that i get to go through it with mal and it's nice that we get to like be here for each other well yeah and also yeah. spend time together yeah you know forcing ourselves to play a board game to get our our mind focused on something is like not you know the best example i guess of spending time together but like it still is and um I'm appreciative of the fact that I don't have to go through this alone. Yeah. So. Also, spaghetti, I, I know people know this, but it reheats really well. Sometimes. <laughs> Pretty well, actually. I'm, I'm surprised. Okay. I'm surprised. Look at that, Mal. Yeah. Three of the four before we lost the game. Doggone it. We were doing... <laughs> We were doing pretty good. We had a good handle on things, but then all of the disease over here, yeah. like, we we were just... It probably would be a little easier if we had more people because they have more abilities. Yeah. But, man, we were just playing standard mode, and uh, that was hard. We had just finished wrapping up both yellow and red back-to-back, -back, and we had kind of, you know, black was over here doing its thing, and uh, it bit us in the butt. But we tried. We did try. We gave it a shot. Um, we could have, and we only had to do blue, and we had four blue cards among us. Yeah. You only have to get to five. Pandemic's hard. So we finished this evening by um, actually playing some games. Uh, I know we played Pandemic in the clip before, but then we decided that um, we'd just play some... Uh, Steam games. Some Steam games, because the TV's got the Steam Link built into it now. And, what was uh, the one we were just playing? Streets of Rogue. Yeah, that was fun. Um, the the controllers have to hook up directly to the television, and we've we've had one controller hooked up to the television, but it's it the cable's not long enough. The controller cable's not long enough, so it's on a USB extension cable. But we wanted to play two player because yeah. we had played that, and then we also played a little Death Road to Canada. Yeah. But we didn't have a second USB extension cable. And I was like, I don't know what we're going to do. Like, the cable won't reach. And I was like, just move the couch. Just move the couch. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell. About halfway, I think. But, like, we've moved the couch, like, super way forward. Um, mm -hmm. Just so it would just so it would reach. And then we played, we played games for a while. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was. <sighs> it's, uh... You know, it, it's been an exhausting few days. Mm -hmm. um, and it hurts. It continues to hurt. Um, we continue to cry. Yeah. But our goal has been to make sure that every day is marginally better than the last. And I think that that's been true. I think that that's been helpful. Yeah. And uh, 
like I had mentioned a day or two ago, you know, there's like a balance where, you know, you, you're grieving and then you will do something to get your mind off of it, you know. So a lot of times it's like we'll be doing an activity and then we'll finish the activity. And it, it's almost like it's, it's weird, but it feels like your your emotions are almost on like a timer. Yeah. It's so weird. It's like you'll be thinking like it, it's om- it, you almost feel like, oh, it's almost time to cry again, you know, which sounds insane. You can but feel it coming on. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like, oh, it's been a while since yeah. I've cried and then it'll, it'll be time to cry again. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's been a remarkable few days. But every day another step forward and um and that's good and and we're still taking it day by day and hour by hour so i don't even know what tomorrow will hold but um you know i'm i'm hopeful yeah i'm hopeful and uh i'm hoping i'm hoping that i feel comfortable with returning the vlog to normal soon um as over the past few days, there's been a few things that I've done that have kept the vlog very different. Um, I haven't done anything with the description. There has been no end screen. And I haven't monetized any of the videos. Um, and it's just because, for one, what's happening now is not normal. It is not our regular thing. Uh, and then also... I just don't feel, it's like a personal hang up. Like I, I don't feel like I can profit off of grief and sadness, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it didn't feel right to us. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a, it was just a personal thing. Like I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to monetize the vlogs. And then on top of that, I didn't want to put the end screen at the end because that is, I mean, that's got like links to like the merch store and stuff. And I'm like, I just, I want to go through this grieving process and I want to share that with people. I'm not interested in profiting off of my sadness. That feels bad. Um, I knew I was never going to do, never going to, to do that for like the 20th. Yeah. That would have been repulsive. Yeah. Um, but even for the days following, it's like, I don't know. There's something weird about it. That being said, um, I am hoping to basically feel better, for us to feel better, uh, and then actually start getting things back to normal. So as long as tomorrow goes okay, and I feel all right, then I think I'll, I'll try to put things back to normal. So I'll probably enable ads and put the end screen and put the description back and it'll start to feel a little bit more like it's supposed to. I think I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I Every day's been better. Um, I don't know if there will be a day that I wake up and I'm like, oh, God, I feel so much worse. Why is today worse? I don't know. But um, it's just some of my thoughts on the whole thing. But as has been typical in the past few days, it's the end of the day and I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm tired. So we're going to get some sleep. The air shut off <laughs> right at that time. Okay, still not ready to do my normal ending. We've just been fading to black, and I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that for now, so we'll see you tomorrow.